China, July 20, 2024. A road bridge in northwest China's Shaanxi province collapsed on Friday, killing 11 people, and Chinese President Xi Jinping called for an all-out rescue operation. The accident occurred at 8.40 p.m. local time on Friday in Shanglua City when floods caused a road bridge to collapse and some vehicles fell into the river. As of 10 a.m. on Saturday, five vehicles were confirmed to have fallen into the water and 30 people were missing, according to Chinese state media. Xi Jinping states, currently, our country is in a critical period for flood control, and local governments must take on their responsibilities and strengthen monitoring and early warning. China's National Fire and Rescue Department said on Saturday it had dispatched a rescue team to the accident site, including 859 personnel, 90 vehicles, 20 boats, and 41 drones. According to Shaoxiang Morning News quoted by the Central News Agency, the Shanxi Traffic Police released the road conditions in the Shanglua area on the morning of the 20th. Among them, the bridge deck of number 2 in Yenping village towards Shanyang Shueyang K46200 toll road collapsed about 40 meters, causing the road to be cut off in both directions. Chinese President Xi Jinping has stated that the top priority is to do all-out rescue operations and search and rescue missing persons. Afterward, Chinese officials quickly organized rescue operations. Li Chang, premier of the State Council of China, also made a speech calling for every effort to be made to search and rescue the missing persons. To identify the causes as soon as possible, to properly deal with the aftermath, to investigate and deal with dangerous situations, and to strictly prevent secondary disasters. The Central News Agency said that in accordance with Xi Jinping's instructions and Li Chang's request, China's Vice Premier Zhang Guiqing led personnel from relevant departments to rush to the scene to guide the rescue and disposal work. Shangxi Province and Shanglua City have organized and launched rescue operations, and on-site rescue and aftermath processing are currently in progress. Currently, many parts of China are flooded due to rain, and many areas are plunged into swamps. Meanwhile, heavy rain and floods in Baoji caused five deaths and eight missing. Local authorities are making every effort to rescue and provide relief. The information from the Baoji City Flood Control Headquarters that from 7 o'clock on July 16 to 10 o'clock on July 17, Baoji City experienced heavy rain and local torrential rain, with an average rainfall of 89.8 mm. The main urban area experienced the largest daily rainfall since meteorological records began. As of 6 p.m. on July 18, the torrential rain and floods caused the unfortunate deaths of five people and eight people missing. During this heavy rainfall, the Children's Park Station in Jintai District Baoji City received 226.3 mm of rainfall per day the highest daily rainfall since the station was built. The Weibin Station received 182.4 mm of rainfall per day, also breaking the single-day rainfall extreme since the station was built. The hourly rainfall intensity and daily total rainfall in Feng County exceeded historical records. The Qingjiang River experienced the largest flow since the station was built. Many rivers such as the Jialing River and Shiba River exceeded the warning water level, and mountain torrents caused floods to overflow the dikes. Some areas of Weibin District and Feng County were severely affected, and other counties and districts were also affected to varying degrees. An old railway bridge on the Fengzhou to Kiliping section of the Baoji Chengdu Railway was damaged by floods causing the railway to be interrupted. For national and provincial trunk roads, including National Highways 310, 244, 342 and Provincial Highway 219 were damaged. Three of these were interrupted, and more than 40 rural roads and 21 bridges were damaged by water.
The rainstorm and floods also caused power outages for 83,013 households, communication interruptions in nine towns in Fengxian County and five towns in Taibai County, and the total affected area of crops was 18,200 acres. At present, Baoji City has launched a Level 4 flood control emergency response and a Level 2 urban waterlogging emergency response, and has deployed a total of 17,000 rescue personnel and 970 mechanical vehicles to carry out drainage, dredging, road clearance, power restoration, and epidemic prevention and disinfection tasks. The county leaders of Fong County were responsible for the emergency evacuation of the threatened people. At the same time, they carried satellite phones and walked into Chenjiacha village in Hiku town which had lost contact to conduct search and rescue. During the rainy period on July 18, they airdropped flour, rice, salt and other daily necessities. The armed police force and fire rescue team stationed in Baoji rushed to Fong County and Weibin district to carry out emergency rescue. It is understood that before and during this round of rainfall, a total of 7,848 people were relocated and 94 trapped people were rescued. All relevant departments are doing their best to maintain order at centralized resettlement sites, distribute materials, and carry out sanitation and epidemic prevention work, and prepare enough necessities such as rice, noodles, oil, and drinking water to ensure the basic living needs of the affected people. As of now, Baoping Expressway and Taiping Expressway have resumed normal traffic, and some sections of National Highways 310 and 342 have been opened. Besides that, 26 of the 59 abnormal 10 kV lines have restored power supply. Communications have been restored in most of the affected areas, and areas that have not been opened have been unblocked through mobile communication vehicles, satellite stations, and backpack stations. Weibin District, which was severely affected, has dredged 20 roads, cleared more than 8,000 meters of road sludge, and drained 110,000 cubic meters of accumulated water. It is reported that Shangxi province has evacuated 22,793 households and 54,088 people and the resettlement of the affected people has been standardized and orderly. The Shangxi Provincial Emergency Management System has urgently allocated more than 60,000 pieces of disaster relief supplies such as tents, folding beds, summer quilts, and single clothes for the current disaster relief work. The Shangxi Provincial Meteorological Observatory forecasts that Shangxi will continue to experience precipitation from July 19 to 25. The Meteorological Department said that areas with heavy rains may produce delayed geological disasters, and local sudden strong weather may trigger new secondary disasters such as urban waterlogging, mountain torrents, and geological disasters. It also reminds people to pay attention to the risk of waterlogging in farmland and precipitation on highways caused by heavy rains.